on tap, son of a peach, we hail. Hi, I'm James Knott and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we are drinking a summer seasonal, son of a peach, we ale from RJ Rockers Brewing Company in Spartanburg, South Carolina. This beer is an American pale wheat ale that clocks in at 5.8% ABV. They use real peaches and natural peach flavor. It is unfiltered, so expect some floaties dancing around your pint glass or Weizen glass. Fake Chef, how would you describe the flavors in this beer? Okay, not too much to say, huh? Crickets. <laughs> uh, Joby, what was the first thing that stuck out to you when you we poured this beer? James, the first thing you have to notice is the uh, all the particulates in the beer. It's very easy to see all the floaties. I mean, it's almost like chunks. Um, you're thinking, man, is this really how this is supposed to be? I mean, even the bottom of the glass is pretty, it's got a lot of sediment down there at the bottom. So, I mean, that's... The first notable, noticeable thing without even smelling it or drink the beer. I mean, once you put your nose on it, it definitely has that peach aroma. Um, and it kind of is a little tamer with the taste, but it's still, you know, all peach all the time. Okay. Now, for those of you at home, Chef called in because he was busy being a chef tonight. So... We have a new helper here tonight. He's actually not new at all, but he has a face for radio, and that's why he helps us with the camera. Rick, would you just say the aroma really sticks out on this beer? Yeah, it has a very full aroma, and it, like Joby mentioned, it's nothing but peach. Yeah. Um, the taste is a little more muted on the peach, but it, you, you look at the jar and you think this is going to be like drinking tapioca. When you look at the pint glass, it just looks like it has a ton of chunks, but it drinks really well. Junk in the trunk. Junk in the trunk. <laughs> Amen, brother. Rick Spellman. Uh, Scott, what do you think about this beer? I mean, what would be the big picture for you? Were you surprised about anything on this beer? I was. I'm not a fan of drinking beers that are flavored with you know, raspberries or peach or nectarines or any other sort of fruit generally, but this beer... Uh, on the front, like uh, Rick was mentioning, the nose is all peach. It's amazing, especially right when you crack the bottle. Uh, but then when you taste it, nothing like it. Absolutely. It's just super bitter. It's like you're chewing on hops, yeast, I mean, everything all together. And, yeah, it's very, very different from the actual look and appearance and smell of the beer. Very surprising. And for an IPA guy, I actually like this beer. And, again, I'm not a fan of sweet beers whatsoever. Okay, so it's not overly fruity. Not at all. I, it has a very, you know, simple, teeny, teeny, tiny fleck of peach on both the beginning and the finish of it. And then it goes away really quick. And really, it's just very bitter and drinks like a great wheat beer. I mean, I would maybe even throw an orange in this. Yeah. Don't fruit the beer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> or jo lemon. Joby, uh, you, who would you recommend this beer to and what's your rating? Um, Jeff... Who's Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> That's his cousin. That's Mr. Are you Fake Jeff? Noodle Chef's cousin. James, uh, I would definitely recommend this to anybody that's a peach lover, uh, anybody that likes peach cobbler, or anybody that's you know just in love with peaches. They, I think they would like this beer. Um, I also think the female viewers that aren't quite at the end of that hard IPA or that dark, real dark beer, I mean, this is a good middle-of-the-road wheat beer, easy drinking um, so I, I could see a lot of females drinking this. Do you think it's good for, like, the Mike's Hard Lemonade crowd? Uh, yeah, I mean, it still has that beer taste to it. So, I mean, I think the Mike Hard Lemonade drinkers, you know, don't really like that beer taste. So this still has the beer taste. It still, you know, definitely tastes like a beer. It's just a fruity beer, like, a, like you know, a blue, uh, moon? a blue moon or maybe like an Oberon with, like, the orange. Um, I could definitely see somebody putting a, you know, I don't know that they have peaches at bars, but... Hey. Don't fruit the beer. Yeah, man. I mean, I could see, not me, but somebody asking for a peach to put in this. But Why would you need to put peaches? They're floating all around. You probably yeah. make one with all the particulates. I but, mean, this is redonkulous. Yeah. But, I mean, I could see, you know, on a, on a real hot day, real hot summer day, I could throw back one or two of these. It'd be nice and refreshing. But, you know, for me, I'm not that huge of a, a peach lover. So this, for me, falls in at a six. Okay. 
Scott, does aroma match flavor for this beer? What's your rating? No, not at all. I, the aroma doesn't match the flavor to me. I think I agree with some of what Joby said. I don't know how many girls are going to like this because, again, I think it has more of a harsh, bitter, fruity taste to it. And it's not really even fruity. I'd say it has more of a harsh, bitter citrus to it than anything. It doesn't really have a defined peach flavor to it. It has a defined peach smell. But if someone's buying this because they think they're going to get a sweet kind of peach drink that's almost like a fuzzy navel or a, like you were mentioning, you know, like old school wine coolers that they had, Bartles and James wine coolers. This is not a Bartles and James wine cooler. This is, I think, a beer that maybe people that aren't normally drinking them, like Joby was mentioning, some of the women maybe would segue into it a little bit, but they'd have to have some affinity towards beer personally, like maybe a half of ice and liquor or something like that could maybe jump into this as well. Okay, so would you six more of this? I would give this. You give uh, it a six. Yeah, I'd give it a six. I would uh, definitely. I would drink more of it. It's, I'm not going to seek it out though and go, hey, I need to. I need to stop at the liquor store and buy a six pack of Son of the Peach. But if I'm out and I have my choice between this and maybe one of the BMCs, I'd probably choose this first. Up against the Blue Moon. Yeah. You know. I mean, yeah, personally, yes, because uh, Blue Moon is. I like this a little bit differently than Blue Moon. I would drink them in different situations because I feel like Blue Moon's smoother and is more fruity than this. Yeah, I mean, still a real solid beer. Shout out to RJ Rockers again because this is the second offering we've had from them, and you know, both of them. You good know, job. Really good beer. So completely different beers. Definitely different ends. Agree. Rick, uh, what would you rate this beer? I think I'd give it a six, uh, fairly for the same reasons that. Joby and Scott talked about it's uh, it's definitely appeals to the fruity nature. I think someone that might like a berry wise or something the seasonals from Line and Googles, if they're into that type, this might really tempt their palate. Uh, Is this um, a good patio beer? Yes, yeah, summer patio maybe. I could see that. I mean, I think a patio beer. I want to have like. Five or six. I don't know that I could drink more than maybe a more two sophisticated of these. patio. Yeah, party that's where you only true. drink one or two. Okay, well, I could not track down the IBUs on this beer, but I mean, would you just wager a guess? Because mm. it does have a little bitterness to I'd it. I'd say probably 65? in the five. No, I'd say I was gonna say in the forty range. I was gonna but, say forty. I don't know. Do you have a guess? I'm gonna okay. go with fifty. <laughs> fifty. All right. <laughs> Rick nailed it. Son of a Peach gets a 666 on the BBA scale. The devil's rating. What's your favorite fruit beer? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. I'm Jimmy Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.